Now for our final little colour correction tutorial. And this is a very handy trick for removing red splotches and red dots and spots and pimples and so on. Now what I'm going to do is zoom in on the chest area, command space bar, click and drag. And I'm going to option click on the eye icon of our original background layer. And we can see all the original red patches which we had previously removed with the patch tool. So let's say that these red patches were all over the body and you didn't want to spend ages trying to find clean patches of skin in order to select them with the patch tool and drag them onto those clean areas. So what you want to be able to do is just to be able to alter all those colors, all those red patches, so, so that they blended in with the original skin. So what I'm going to do is select my background layer down here and come to my adjustment layers, click on hue and saturation, and we'll come up here and we'll select our reds, which we're going to affect. Now we grab our hue slider and drag it all the way to the left. And you see that wherever it is red, it suddenly becomes this bluey, purpley kind of color. Now this blue and purple color represents the areas that are red, that contain red on Rebecca's skin here. But what we want to do is isolate just those areas which are a little too red. And to do that, we come down here and we grab on the far right hand slider here, we drag it in, and what it does is, just like this, and what it does is it isolates, creates a greater contrast, and isolates those areas, just those areas which are a little too red for our liking. And as you can see, if I switch on and off our new adjustment layer here, we can see that it's just those red areas which are being affected, which still have that blue covering them. And it's just going to be those areas which we now are going to affect. So what we need to do now is now move our slider back to the other side of the spectrum. So I come back up to my hue slider and I'm going to drag it to the right beyond the zero point so that it nudges into the yellow end of the spectrum. And if I just slide it on a little bit further, perhaps to about, say there, maybe I'll just make that a nice even 10. And a quick before and after, before and after. You can see that those red areas have almost disappeared and much more closely resemble the surrounding skin. And there's one more little thing we can do here just to make that skin a little less obvious and that's to lighten it. So I'm just going to get my lightness slider and nudge it a little bit to the right, perhaps to about plus five or six. And once again, a quick before and after, before and after. And those red patches have just about disappeared. Now what's happening is we're actually affecting the entire layer at the moment. And we don't really want to do that. We just want to get rid of those little problem spots. Because what we've done is as well as removing those red patches, we've also gotten rid of quite a bit of the healthy red that we want in the skin. So with my hue saturation mask selected, I'm going to hit Command I to invert that from a white to a black. And now all we have to do is just paint in those areas. So B for my brush tool, double zero for 100%, and increase my brush size with the right bracket key. And now I just paint over those red patches. So all of a sudden, the skin is nice and clear. Just like that, before and after. So that's something to remember the next time you come across skin, which has a lot of red spots on it.